All right, we've got a super busy day today and I'm gonna take you along with me, so let's get started. All right, so we've got a busy day ahead of us today. We have Paldean Fates, number one, right there. Number one, Paldean Fates. We not only have Paldean Fates coming next week on Monday, which means I gotta go pick it up on Monday from the distributor. I also have our Paldean Fates mega stream ahead of release events starting next week. So Monday through Friday next week, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have Paldean Fates streams every single day until Friday. And we're gonna be giving away a megaton of Paldean Fates ETBs, as well as a massive 60 plus ETB bounty. So I gotta plan all that upload to drip, etc. get the schedule going. But not only that, I also, oh wait, ha, oops, clear snow, nope. Already did that one. More snow is coming, which sucks, but it is part of life. Now, I also have to finalize the One Pack Magic website. Uh, the One Pack Magic, as y'all do not know, but will soon know, is going to be one of the most epic things we've ever done in this hobby, literally everywhere. So if you wanna know more about One Pack Magic, be the first to know about One Pack Magic, you've got to subscribe to the channel and uh, put those notifications on because you're not gonna wanna miss that. Also, we have, woo, what's that? Temporal forces allocations are today. So I'm gonna be jumping on the phone and talking to the distributors to find out exactly how much temporal forces we're getting. And that way we know how much we can charge for them on the shop. So if y'all are ready, let's get to it. All right, so temporal forces numbers are in and they are looking not great. So if you've been used to the amount of product Pokemon's been producing as of the last year and a half, two years, you can say goodbye to those days because our numbers just came in and Pokemon has cut almost every single piece that we typically get to like 70-ish percent of the normal number. If the math works out right, that means that people are gonna want product and that if everybody's getting 30% less than what they're used to, you can say goodbye to uh, some of these ridiculously low prices on booster boxes as soon as stuff comes out. Uh, we'll see what we can do with what we got, but we never know. Ah. Now that the Temporal Forces allocations are done, I need to jump into the back end of the website and edit the One Pack Magic website for the 19th time because I've deleted it now 18 times because I haven't liked how it looks and I don't feel like the information is where I want it to be. So instead of putting you through the same pain I'm about to experience for a couple hours, I'm going to use the magic of editing and fast forward, let's go. Boom, we are here and look at that. That is looking really spicy. Coming soon to a website near you, One Pack Magic. This is like a sneak preview. That was looking spicy. I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. Woo! And look at me. I'm being so productive. This is the stream studio. So as you see, we this is where we stream. We got the streamer cam, we got the face cam, we got the monitors, the lights, lights, XP, and then we have the table where a bunch of stuff goes. And then back here, it's typically been like memorabilia stuff, but we're changing things up. And we got the Paldean Fates mega stream situation. So right now on Drip, potentially while this video is being uploaded or when it's been uploaded, you're gonna be watching us live uh, at night for five straight days doing a Paldea, Paldean Fates mega stream where we're gonna be giving away a ton of stuff. But back here is gonna be all the product as well that we're gonna be selling on streams, etc. So if you guys are into weird stream stuff and like having some fun, this is a great time. This is an absolute mess I gotta clean up. and. My focus is just all kinds of broken. So let's get to this right now. Let's go. By the way, one thing I forgot to tell you is like, I already cleaned up all that memorabilia. So like literally like we've got, how many is this? Uh, nine, nine of these huge moving boxes filled with Pokemon memorabilia that used to be in our stream room. And now it's in the fulfillment room, which is currently like our second warehouse. Uh, but we are working on that. Um, but yeah, I got to get all these bad boys out of the store, send them over to Jason's house. So that way they're nice and safe, but it has been an absolute like nightmare trying to get that whole room cleaned up so that the streams can have all the product they need on that. So let's get back to the mess. All right. So as I sit here, putting away all this memorabilia and all the stuff we've bought over the years that we've been doing this, uh, you know, it came to me, I was like, ah, oh, man, I have so many memories about this whole hobby uh, since I've been doing it for a long time. And even when I wasn't doing it fully, you know, almost seven years ago before I got back into it, 
I uh, I was still like part of it. I still bought the games. I still bought packs. And I went to Target once in a while. Like I never really left it all. Um, and what's funny is like, even when we started the business and now where we are with our business here and in the hobby, it's like, it's transformed like crazy. Like if you had asked me in 2017, 18, like, hey, are you gonna be live streaming? Are you gonna be doing content? Are you gonna be doing vlogs? Are you gonna be doing social media? Like all this good stuff. You know, do you, do you think the world's gonna be like in this place where you could go online, you buy packs and people rip it online? Like I would've been like, what are you talking about? Who's gonna do that? And it's like, now we're a mega part of our business is live stream. Like I'd say like 30% of our business is doing lives. And uh, it's kind of crazy to think about that. Like in such a short amount of time, the whole industry has pivoted, has changed. And, um, you know, a lot of people will have different versions of what happened. You know, like there's been a whole bunch of hype. There's been a whole bunch of shady shit. There's a whole bunch of stuff where uh, people take advantage of the hobby. But my experience of it and how we've done it and how we've stayed true to ourselves has been to use live streaming to bring us closer to the collectors uh, in the hobby, right? Because like, that's where I wanna be. That's where we wanna be. We wanna be a part of something so much bigger than ourselves. And uh, I love live streaming. I know all of our streamers here, Caitlin and Bri Big Bri, they all love the love live streaming too. They love talking to you guys in the chat. Like it's become a mega part of their lives. And, and I was just thinking about it, like this is one of the most epic kind of trajectories I could have I could have ever imagined for the hobby. So that was it. I was cleaning and I figured I wanted to say something like that. Warehouse Mike, uh, what are we doing here? Shipping out the people's packages. That's a lot of packages. Is this all the packages? This is Mike is off to the great post office land, the place where we send all the packages daily. That was Warehouse Mike. Warehouse Mike, you know, he doesn't want to be shown on camera. He doesn't want to bring his face into, into the world. So Warehouse Mike will always be a headless uh, and voiceover uh, character. So I uh, hope you guys like Warehouse Mike. Warehouse Mike makes it happen for you. Warehouse Mike is how y'all be getting all of your packages. Um, by the way, this is a store. If it's the first time you're seeing a video from us, this is the front of house. This is where we do uh, retail, retail stuff, typically retail stuff. And then if you come with me, we've got the stream room in the glass room here. That's where I think you've seen some, some of me in there uh, today. Uh, this is coffee station for, for guests. Um, that's my office slash chill area over there. This is the fulfillment room. Okay, fulfillment room. Fulfillment room is epic, okay? Fulfillment room is where all the magic happens before the magic happens uh, on that cart that you saw. And then uh, we have fulfillment station, power station. And then if the lights turn on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go, I'm back. Then we got the warehouse where all the goodies live until they go off to you. And I'm telling you, the warehouse is freaking epic. Uh, and this whole place is epic. It was purpose built after we moved buildings after the Hurricane Ida flooding that destroyed our old store. And it's one of the best decisions we've ever made. Ugh, I totally, whoa. Oh. Bruh. I don't understand. Why is there booster boxes of unified mines and roaring skies on a random shelf? That's like $2,000 worth of product. What is, what's happening? We gotta, this needs to go in a safe. Let's go to the safe. Dum, 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 All right, nice and safe. I was walking back from the safe when, why is this not locked? Look at them slabby patties. Why is it not locked? Gotta get, you know what? I actually, I think I remember someone saying that we uh, lost the lock for, uh, for this case. So that's a tomorrow to do because today the sunlight is going down and I don't got that much time left in the office. So we got to finish up some stuff. All right, so I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been sick for like a week and a half. I haven't slept much. Uh, my kids have been all sick. And the stuff that you don't see uh, in the live streams or in the emails or sales or all the cool stuff we do, is sometimes how hard it is to do that with all of life also happening. But that is all to say, 
and digress from the point that I need some tea bad. Yeah. Oolong, baby, the best. Let's go get some. Let's go put the kettle on. What the? Warehouse Mike. Where's the kettle? Where is it? Oh, wait. There he is. <laughs> Boop. There we go. Oh, little tea making. Warehouse Mike. You want some? <sighs> One million years later. Oh, and it's done. Hot water. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So we've got more snow today more snow it's been snowing or raining on and off for the last three four weeks making shipments and getting the team into the store in the warehouse and everything else ridiculously complicated and it doesn't look like there's any sign of letting up so today we're starting off with snow which means i need more salt i need a salt spreader because i broke mine and all the fun stuff that totally has everything to do with tcgs whatever Now that the snow is taken care of, I spent the last three hours with Warehouse Mike chipping away at snow like it's our job because it kind of is. I need to talk to you about something important. Paldean Fates is coming out this week. Let's talk about it. All right. Paldean Fates is coming out this week. So a uh, little bit of information you should probably know. One, it's coming out in three different ways. First wave is this week, and that is January 26th with the ETBs and the tech stickers. The ETBs, as you know, nine packs, but it's gonna come with that amazing Mimikyu promo, which looks absolutely fire. And then the tech stickers are from the Shiny Doggies three packs and the Shiny Doggy tech sticker, also a super cool product uh, and one of the more affordable pieces. Then coming out on the 9th of February, you're gonna get the tin, the full size tin with the five packs, the Charizard, Iron Treads, and Great Tusk. You're gonna get the EX Premium Collection with the Meow Scarada Shiny Line, the Quackle Ball Shiny Line, and the Skeletor Shiny Line, Ultra Premium, looking super duper fire. That is the EX Premiums. And then you're going to also get the, the uh, Mini Tin is coming out at that time. Then last but not least is at the end of February is gonna come the Booster Bundle. The Booster Bundles are usually uh, special sets go up in price like crazy. It's also the cleanest and most affordable way, supposedly, to get your packs because it's no fluff. It's just six packs. But because they produce booster bundles so much less than they do the other product, they see a increase in premium pretty quick normally. Hopefully not this time. Hopefully you guys can get your pack fix from the booster bundles for the price you're supposed to get it. Time machine has occurred and we are all done. I'm wrapping up on the next day. So we talked about Paladin Fates. But now it's the next day. We did a payroll. We did all kinds of not so fun, fun things. But now I'm going to get home. I'm going to change over our entire binder of 151 with my son uh, that we've been trying to master. And I'm going to time lapse that probably, hyper lapse that, because that's going to take forever. And I want to show you that uh, we love Pokemon at home all the time, not only at the store. So let's go. All right. We just got home. And now I have an important question. Sebastian, Scarlet, and Stefan, are we ready to work on our Pokemon binders? Yeah! Oh yeah, let's do it! <laughs> 